Hey everyone, so I'm on my way out to get Tucker here and I thought I'd do a video today on how to get your horse in shape. So a lot of people have requested this video and it's that time of year where I haven't really ridden in about a month just because the weather's been so bad. So today I'm just going to share some exercises on how you can get your horse in shape and these are super simple and easy exercises that I do to get my horses ready for the summer. Hi right, boys. So the first exercise I'm going to cover today that you can use to get your horse in shape is lunging. So if you don't know what lunging is, it's basically when you get your horse to go around you in a circle and they're on a lead so you have control of them. But by doing this, you can get them to like walk, trot, canter around you, get their blood flowing, all that good stuff. So I've probably actually used lunging the most just to keep Tucker in shape throughout the winter. Sometimes it's just been really too gross to ride or maybe I get off work late so I get here when it's getting dark. And so when I can lunge him, I don't have to tack up and get on and ride. I can just do it really quickly, get him a few minutes of exercise and then he's good to go. Lunging can help you get your horse in shape in a number of ways. Number one, it's just a super easy way to exercise them when you don't have the time or maybe the space to ride your horse. And even by lunging your horse a few times a week, you can help them maintain their muscle tone and their stamina. So when you get back on to ride, they are good to go. Just a few notes about lunging your horse. You probably don't want to lunge them every day just because the same circular pattern over and over again can probably make their legs sore and be hard on their joints. When you do lunge your horse, you don't want to lunge them for over 30 minutes. So a good workout is probably around 20 minutes for them. That way you can get their blood flowing, but it's not going to overwork them on that circle. So another thing to remember when you're lunging your horse is you want to try and lunge them equally in both directions. And this is just going to help maintain a balanced muscle tone throughout the horse's body. So I'll get him to change his direction. Come on. Oh, it's like, I'm spicy today. That cool weather. So I do have a lot of videos geared towards lunging. So if you want to learn how to lunge your horse or you need to teach your horse how to lunge, I'll put all those videos in the description for you to check out. All right, so now I'm on Tucker here and I'm going to share some riding exercises you can do to get your horse in shape. So one that I particularly like is long trotting or long cantering. And what this is, is you're basically just trotting or cantering for a longer period of time rather than, you know, you go around the ring once and you take a walk break and you chill out. But I found that long trotting, it is really good not only for the horse, but also for the rider. When I do this exercise, I am tired by the end of it. So it's great for me to build endurance. It's also great for your horse to build endurance. So I know that coming out of this winter, I've noticed that Tucker has just been really weak at the canter. So one thing I'm going to work with him, because this has happened before, is I work on long cantering where I'll canter for quite a few minutes rather than just going around the ring once. And I've noticed that this is really helpful and it helps him learn to balance. And it's also going to build those muscles he needs to hold himself correctly at the canter. So when I say long trotting or long cantering, I don't mean going and trying to canter your horse for an hour. What I mean is just setting a timer for maybe like two to five minutes and seeing if you can hold that gait for that amount of time. In the beginning, you're gonna to wanna to start at a lower time, maybe even just like a minute and a half. And as you gradually build up, you can set your timer for like five minutes. And that's gonna be really good for the horse and it's also gonna be really good for you. So the next exercise I use to get Tucker here in shape is going over trot pulls and doing some grid work. These exercises are both great for building certain muscles. So when you go over trot pulls, your horse is gonna to have to extend their legs higher and farther out. So this is really gonna build the muscle right here for the back leg. So the back leg will come under and this is the muscle that's gonna hold the back leg up. So you're gonna build this muscle. You're also gonna build the top line in the back through here because this muscle is gonna to have to raise so that the horse can reach their leg under them. So when it comes to grid work, grid work is really when you have a few jumps in a row. So you'll jump, jump, stride, jump, kind of stuff like that. So what this is gonna do for your horse is it's really gonna cause your horse to rock back on their hind end and they're gonna have to push and launch themselves with their hind end. So this is really gonna be good for building these lovely muscles back here. So here are the poles I have set for Tucker. 
He is only 13 one hands high. So I have these poles a little closer together just so they're easier for him to go over. But one thing you can do with trot poles is as your horse builds the appropriate muscles, you can start to lengthen the distance between the poles so that the horse is gonna have to reach farther and lift their leg up higher. So another exercise you can do is HIT training. And this stands for high intensity interval training. So what this is, is you're gonna do an intense workout for a short amount of time and then give your horse time to rest before you do it again. So how I think about this, I remember running track in high school and I would sprint for 100 meters and then we'd walk for 100 meters and then we'd sprint for 100 meters and then we'd walk for 100 meters. So that's the concept. So when I think of this when it comes to horses, I immediately think of a jumping horse just because it's really intense and focused for a short amount of time and then you can give your horse a rest. So if you wanna use this exercise to get your horse in shape, you can do a jumping course and then rest for a few minutes and then do another course and rest for a few minutes. And as your horse gets more and more in shape, you can make the course more difficult or more a longer course. So another great exercise I use to get my horse in shape is simple trail riding, man. I love trail riding, I do it a lot. Trail riding is just great because number one, your horse and you are facing many different type of terrains and you can ride for a longer distance. That itself can help your horse build endurance. Another thing is that when you do trail riding, you can do a lot of the exercises we've already covered. You can work on high intensity training by just doing bouts of cantering or galloping. And you can also do long cantering and long trotting too. The trail just gives you an opportunity to work on a bunch of different things. And also it gives you a way to spend time with your horse and do something a little different. Get your horse out and about rather than just in an arena. Another great exercise for helping your horse build muscle and get in shape is hill work. So hill work is basically just working your horse on the hill. So whether you're going up the hill or you're going down the hill, both are very beneficial for your horse. So by riding your horse up a hill, the horse is having to engage their hind end muscles to push themselves up the hill. So this can be great to build the hind quarters, which in turn will just help your horse carry themselves better overall. And then when you work downhill, it's gonna teach your horse to get its hind end under themselves. So this is gonna make them a much nicer ride. If your horse maybe has difficulty stopping and they seem like they're dragging themselves forward into the stop, working on going down a hill and stopping them on the hill will be great because it'll mean they're gonna have to tuck their hind end under them. So the most effective way to build your horse's hind end muscles when going up a hill is to actually walk up the hill because with the walk, they're really gonna have to push themselves up the hill compared to the trot or the canter where they have a little bit more momentum. So it's gonna be easier for them to kind of just drag themselves up the hill. All right, so I'm gonna go up and then stop. Good boy, all right, let's go. And see, he's really having to push himself forward because that is a steep hill. So even getting your horse to halt in the middle of the hill is good. And this is great for helping your horse build balance. Good boy, that is steep. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And also, I wanna know how you like to exercise your horse. So comment down below and let me know your favorite exercise. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more weekly horse videos.